Well, ladies and gents, here I am with 10,000 bees in my car. It's insane. There's also a couple on the outside. So now I have live bees on the outside in my car. See how got my hive home and I've just opened the doors to let the bees navigate themselves around I've chucked it next to my hive and there's a few bees that came out and flew around the rest are just mingling at the entrance Okay, so what I'm doing right now is letting the bees out of their new hive so they can orient themselves. Once they've managed to orient themselves and work out where they are in the world, and there's a few nice flowering trees up there, then they will remember to come back to the hive. So in a minute, once uh, a number of the bees have worked out where they are in relation to the hive, then I will transfer them. There he goes. He's just working out where he is. Where am I? And that's that. What I'm going to do now is get started on wiring up my new frames before I put the nuke colony into the actual hive. Bits of essential kit for my beekeeping. Uh, the bee brush and calipers aren't all that necessary. However, the hive tool and smoker definitely is. As well as my beekeeping suit. Right. What I'm going to attempt to do now is that white new hive and put it into that wooden hive so we'll see how it goes. And this is what my beehive looks like. Isn't it pretty? Now I have to transfer these guys into there. Very gently. So that's that done. The bees are settling in. Um, I couldn't see the queen, which is kind of concerning, but apparently they say, don't worry too much if you can't see it. Um, got to get my eye in, and there was a lot of bees on that brood comb. They're all climbing all over the top of each other, so I didn't want to spend too long with it out, just because um, some of the bees are still getting oriented, so... Uh, in a couple of weeks time I'll have a decent look um, didn't look too hard for eggs but I didn't spot any on the ones that I did bother looking for them again slightly concerning but uh, we'll just have to see how we go so, these are them in their happy little home And this is why you buy bees, because these bees are nice. I'm just chilling out here in short sleeves. Here's a few going for a drink. So first attempt at DIY beekeeping 
and I want to talk, talk a little bit about hive placement. So I thought about where I was going to place my hives in the yard and I could come up with no better option than directly outside my back, back door and that's simply because I was worried about flight paths. So I've got dogs and they've only got a limited amount of space in the backyard and I didn't really want to inhibit that anymore. Um, and as you can see, most of my yard is on a hill uh, facing southeast. So here in the southern hemisphere, um, uh, the sun generally comes up towards the northern edge, moving east to west, which means that if you want the early morning sun, you need to face your hives north. Unfortunately, um, I can't really do that without pointing the hives into the side of the hill. So instead, I chose the sunniest little spot in the garden, where they get the first little peak of light uh, at the start of the day, at around 10 o'clock. Um, not ideal, but the best I could do. Um, and as you can see, the um, theory that I had that the flight paths would, uh, if I put the bees just above height, just above head level, that the bees would then take off, particularly with the jasmine bushes in the way, that they would take off and then rise up above me and over the house. So that's the theory, um, and it seems to be working. Uh, down here at head level, relatively low traffic, and all the bees tend to go straight over the top of my head. So he's hoping that continues. I'm sure as the uh, hive gets bigger, I might run into a few more issues. 